The best thing about being a footballer, I've played it since I can remember, you know, kicking a ball around with me dad. And to get paid for doing something that you virtually love, heaven. Best moments? Um, I think winning trophies, my first trophy was the FA Cup uh, at Everton, which was fantastic, and then to win championships. And then playing for England, it was definitely a very, very proud moment for myself and for my family. And, you know, it doesn't get any better than doing that. Individual honours, uh, I was voted Players Player of the Year in 85, and I had a Manager of the Year in 96. I think nowadays, because of how big the game has got, football players are like movie stars. So it's, it's highlighted 100%. So they can't do the things I took for granted doing when I was growing up as a young player. Now, I had a real good time being a footballer, socially as well as professionally. I'm not sure they do nowadays. I'm just a council house kid who was good enough to play football. So that's something that I don't really go big into. Like, you know what I mean? It's, I'm still Peter E for my There you go. Was I really conscious of, of going bald? I'm not, I'm not sure. It, was, it wasn't something I was thinking, thinking, thinking about, something that just could come about. And I'm glad I've had it done, I'm not. Is it vanity? I don't know. But was, it, was I losing confidence? No, not really. Just something I thought, yeah, I'll do it. See, I've had a lot of injuries and operations and I, I, I didn't think it'd be painful. It wasn't painful. In fact, it's quite relaxing. I, I found it therapeutic, if anything, someone messing with your scalp. So it was no big, I know, I know it sounded like it was no big deal. It wasn't. The other day, you can watch a movie, you can listen to music while it's getting done. It was altogether a nice experience.